Hey, thank you folks. Welcome back to New Day, New Game. Today I'm playing Satellite Repair Man. Man, 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 man. I believe that's an all of that reference. I can't remember what the repairman is for, but I remember the band, man, 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 part. Anyway, I would like to thank Nuno Donato for letting me try this game out for free. Um, I'm assuming we're repairing satellites. I'm assuming that's part of the uh, part of the storyline, if there is a storyline. Um, so yeah, playing this with the controller. Mission scenarios. Are these different game modes? Some of these are different game modes. Repair Training 101. In this first assignment, you'll be introduced to the basics of your work here. And it's on planet Earth. This first mission will introduce you to the basics of your work here. Press select or L3 to move forward in the tutorial. D-pad or left stick to move around. Pressing up will activate the jetpack. Careful not to fly too far away now. Okay. Cool. Inventory is at the bottom of the screen. You can cycle through the items with L2 and R2. Okay, let's try it. We placed uh, walk over, then use it. Okay. Just walk it over and use it. Um, Keep your health high to repair more efficiently. If you ever need to increase your health, search for food boxes like this one. All forms will produce them constantly. Oh, oops. In our wood. R2. Okay. Okay. A is the use button. Okay. When you walk near a building, you'll see see in your HUD all its re relevant status information. Besides repairing, you can also interact with some buildings by pressing dock. Try refueling your jetpack and your HQ. Hold dock to refuel. What is the dock button? Maybe that would be helpful to know. Okay, B is the dock button. Gotcha. B stands for dock, apparently. Uh, okay, let, let's go to the really important things. There's one... There's one just above the HQ at an altitude of approximately 4,000 and these are paired. Go for it! Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Um. Okay, I guess we're good. I got, um. Well, it's kind of overlapping, so once docked, you can check the status of satellite install modules as well as installing new ones from the inventory. Hold repair to repair. Okay, good. X is repair. Luckily, we can figure out which buttons are what. There's only so many buttons it can be. Press dock and get to undock. Careful with gravity. Make sure you use your jetpack again. Repairing building is similar. You don't need to dock since the ground is safe for you. Repair the damaged tower to the left of the HQ. Okay. Where's my altitude? Okay, we lived! We lived! Okay. Look at that screw. <laughs> Spitting is heavily damaged. It will catch fire and will degrade as time passes. If the health reaches zero, you'll lose the building. Okay. Top left of the screen, besides your health and fuel, you also have altitude. Oh! Oh, there it is. Okay. Um, in current position, angle. Okay, so I'm guessing. Yeah. That's what I thought. Oops, let's walk away here. These last two only work properly within GPS range. Ah, gotcha. My side there is common GPS signal detectors. Okay. Below these, you can see how many houses, satellites, and missiles. Missiles. That sounds worrisome. Uh, detected by radars exist. With this, we finish our training mission. Be sure to attend Repair Training 102. Okay. Yeah. Three stars. We did it. I am a pro at satellite repairing. The second part of your training will cover satellites, 
satellite and building uh, buildings production and deployment as well as trying out the research center. Okay. Welcome back. Let's get started by going through the process of manufacturing and deploying a new satellite. And over to the factory uh, to the right of the HQ and order the building to the building of a new satellite. For now, you only have C category satellites, but later you can build bigger and better ones. This one. Okay. Okay. Are oh, you wait? Order a com module from the factory. Factories and construction yards can queue up the four items in the production line. So you can place your orders and return back later. Oh, oops. Is it a comm model? Yeah, yeah. There we go. Once production finished, grab the crates to add the satellite and the module to your inventory. Now let's get ready for deployment. Let me turn that down a little bit. Oh, I can't turn down like the the music. I mean, uh, like the sound effects individually. Okay. Um, okay. There are only two requirements, re requisites to deploy a satellite. You need to be at minimum altitude of 1,000. And you need to be as still as possible. Satellites higher in the sky can detect and intercept threats earlier, but need extra satellites to keep comm connection down to the surface. Fly up and keep an eye on your comm signal. Try to deploy the satellite inside the comm range. Do so, select the satellite in your inventory and press Use to deploy it. So it said I need to be about a thousand. And do it within comm range. Got it. There we go. Oh, okay, use. Okay, installed it. Really, it loses health that fast? Com, GPS, and radar are, all, are the three most important modules to maintain a, si a simple defense and good coverage for notifications and map positioning. You can get back down to the surface now. Next to the factory, you'll find the construction yard where you can order new ground structures and build a better base. Order the construction of a new com tower. Okay. from the yard. Headquarters. Home tower. Oh my word. This way, it's the other way. Oops. <laughs> okay. What do we do? Uh, calm tower, right? Yeah. Take to the right of the construction, head right until the signal turns red, then go left a little until you're inside the range again. Select and deploy the new tower there. Remember they broadcast a signal, so they need to be inside the signal range too. Okay, so I need to wait till that goes red, then turn. Oh, yeah, right there. It's really important to have good comm coverage, otherwise you won't receive notifications nor be able to use the map out. Speaking of which, let's see how that works. Uh, select. Map provides a quick overview of, okay, I'm really losing health there. I don't know why. Map provides a, is it when I move? Okay, it's when I move. So if I just stand there, I think I'm okay. Maybe. 
That provides a quick overview of all that is happening when in the mount. Use L2, R2, and use to select and toggle layers on and off. Okay, your L1. That will also show you incoming missiles, missile threats, as well as friendly missiles. Damaged buildings will turn yellow and red when damaged. Uh, satellites with a remote diagnostics module will show their health, and autom health percentage automatically. It's a good idea to start every mission by looking at the map and understanding the building's positions and resources you're starting with. To wrap up the training, let me tell you something about the research center. Head over to 90 degrees to find the research building. Well, let's actually look at the map. Oh great, I can, I can... Okay, so that's the satellite. Okay, okay, I, t I accidentally toggled off the buildings. GPS, radar. Okay, honestly that's a little confusing to me. Where's the research building? Oh crap, said 90. Am I going the... I think I might be going the long way. No, no, no. Maybe I'm not. Yeah, I think I'm going the long way. Oops. Taking the scenic route. Okay, what happens when I hit zero? I'm curious. Depending on your mission, some tech might be more useful than others. That's up to you to decide. Use the research to unlock new satellites. Modules improve things like your inventory capacity and global radar range. Keep in mind that some research items are only available after after other ones are researched first. Let's try it out. Research the refuel mo module to allow refuel when docked to a satellite. Okay. Okay, here we go. Okay, good. We made it. Refuel module. When it's finished, you'll notice that a stationary module becomes available for research. The new refuel module will be available for production in all factories. That's all the important things you need to know. The rest will come with practice and some study. Make sure to check the repair, Repairpedia app on your tablet. So we don't actually get the, the module? Okay, I guess it's just ready. Okay. Okay, cool. Three stars, even though we almost died, maybe? Possibly? I'm not sure. Anyway, I think I'm going to go ahead and call it there. Um, interesting game. Yeah, pretty interesting. I'm not feeling super motivated to keep playing it, though. That's the only problem, but I... I think some people could enjoy this game, you know, pretty well. Definitely seems like more work's been put into that put into it than, you know, a lot of the games I've played, anyway. Or a good bit of them, I should say. Um, I, I feel like it could be really tedious having to, like, fly up there and have to repair salads. Although I know it's the name of the game, but... You know, I was seeing the thing ticking down, you know, while I was still up there. I was like... Ooh. And I'd have to get used to the map, so that could be that could be a bit tedious. But I think there'd be I think there's definitely people who would who would enjoy that sort of gameplay loop, you know. So yeah, I think so. The link will be down in the description, as always, if you want to check out the game for yourself. It is right now four dollars, so good price for entry. Uh, right now on Steam. So yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't feel motivated to play this myself anymore, but yeah, I think it's I think it's a decent game at least. You don't have like a it's got 62 percent you know on Steam, so uh, but yeah, I think it's I think it 
that's about right for it. If not a little bit higher, honestly. Uh, but yeah, I, just, I don't. I personally don't want to play anymore of it. So anyway, I do sincerely hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, feel free to leave a like. Let me know what you thought. And uh, yeah, see you guys in the next video. Later.